I wanted to show you a different way to think about how to break your vectors into components. So we have, for example, in ramp problems, some block sitting on a ramp. And at the most basic, we have a normal force pointing perpendicular to the ramp and a gravitational force pointing straight down. A lot of times what we like to do is rotate this so that the y and the x coordinates are pointing like that. And if you want to so now your normal force points along the y direction, but your gravitational force is going to have x and y components. So you can do, you can break your opponents, your components up using trigonometry and drawing a bunch of triangles and angles to convince yourself what the right trigonometric functions to use are, or you can guess and check. And let me show you what I mean by that. So let's guess that the x component, so fgx, is going to be fg cosine theta. Let's just guess that because when we've done other kinematics equation or other kinematics problems, the x component has usually gone with cosine theta. And let's guess that the y component goes with sine theta. Okay. Now the way that we're going to, so that's our guess, so now we have to check. So the way we're going to check that is with a boundary condition. So what if we said theta is equal to zero? So if theta is zero, so here's our ramp with theta. So if theta is zero, we just get a flat surface. So now we have a block sitting on a flat surface and normal pointing up, gravity pointing down. And we want to figure out if our guess now matches the situation. So we had guessed that the x component went with cosine theta and the y component had gone with sine theta. Now let's plug in this boundary condition. So fg cosine of zero and fg sine of zero. Oops. So from trig, we know that cosine of zero equals one. So this just goes to fg. Sine of zero is zero. So this goes to zero. Now, from what we guessed, this drawing would have no y component for gravity, and gravity would be only pointed in the x direction. And so this is not correct. So our guess was wrong. So the other guess that we made, we could have made, was that the x component goes with sine theta, and the y component goes with cosine theta. And so now if we check that again, at theta equals zero, we would get mg sine of zero, which equals zero, and then mg cosine of zero, cosine of zero is one, so that's mg. So that matches what we expect. So 
this is just to show you another way instead of going through the trig and having to draw a bunch of different triangles and finding angles and complementary angles and all that stuff. You can just guess what you think the right components are for those, uh, the right trigonometric function to use for those components, and then just check your work using a simple boundary condition like theta equals zero.